We all love online FPS games and today we're gonna talk about an FPS game that has a bit of a secret. Not secret, but something that nobody knows. Now I know, you saw the thumbnail and thought, wait, this is Escape from Tarkov, this isn't a free FPS game. It is. Now this game is called Hired Ops and it's actually the system that Tarkov used to make Tarkov on. Now the creators of Tarkov made Contract Wars first, then they made Hired Ops and then they made Escape from Tarkov. And Hired Ops is the free FPS game that you can play right now, but let's talk about it first. Now Hired Ops is a session based online FPS dedicated to fierce conflicts between rival mercenary groups battling on a global scale. You get to take part in combat operations and complete contracts. Now this game is dedicated to the world of PMC market. So it's not America versus Russia or China versus Russia. It's not nothing like that. Nothing generic. It's actually mercenaries versus mercenaries. While you improve your combat skills, you get to buy and use additional weapons, ammunition and special equipment during the battle. Now if you play the game, you can expect dynamic firefights in all parts of the world, a military base in Iran, a ghetto on the outskirts of Bangkok, a railway station in Kazakhstan, and there's lots more. Now there's also a thing called a contract system. Now each fighter selects a suitable contract. You perform the most difficult task and earn a reputation in the markets of the PMCs. Your income, future contracts and status, among with the other mercenaries, depends only on you. The higher your reputation, the harder the tasks you get. And then you guessed it, there's the generic class system. You get four different classes with their own developed system and of course their own skills. Now that's not it, you also get an arsenal of various weapons with large amounts of modifications. The game also offers over 80 pieces of modern small arms weapons and over 100 different modules for it. Now Hired Ops the game we're talking about today released in early access in 2016, in October 2016 and its full release date was in April in 2021, two years ago. And today we're talking about this because I think that this game didn't deserve the light it needed to get. Because Escape from Tarkov basically just stole it, but still, go try it out, there's a, there's a bit of players, the servers aren't dead, and just play it and let me know what you guys think about this.